Hi there, Matt Tech Tips once again. I just thought I'd do a little video of my computer rig. Uh, I did a video a couple of weeks ago of uh, my computer desk and it was on the side and I thought it was best that I do a quick video. So the first biggest thing that you can see in this picture is the heatsink for the CPU. Now this is a pretty big uh, CPU heatsink well, one of the bigger ones that I've seen, and it works really well. It's uh, by OCZ. I don't know the exact model number. It's, it's cold to the touch, actually. Um, it's a fantastic CPU process. Keeps my CPU very cool, and that is cooling a 1075T Phenom 2 processor under there, running 3 gigahertz. Uh, at six cores, it's a very fast CPU. Uh, here, which actually I've got a RAM cooler that fans that go over the top of this, is eight gigabytes, two gigabytes each of DDR3 1600 memory, currently running at one three three three, because I had some issues with uh, crashing and whatnot. Uh, I might try running it at 1600 again. Uh, so yeah, that's DDR3 memory. It's Corsair. Uh, I can't get a screenshot of the actual brand. But the motherboard, as you can see, is a gigabit motherboard. It is an MA770T UD3P AM3 motherboard. It can take 16 gigabytes of RAM. And currently that's £60. And I'm seriously considering upgrading to 16 gigabytes. But really, am I actually ever going to use 16 gigabytes? Is a, is a given. Making this all come up on the display is a 6950 AMD graphics card. I could never remember if I had an AMD 6970 or a 6950 but I upgraded from a 6850 uh, back at Christmas time last year because it went my 6850 went faulty I sent it back and they upgraded me. I had to spend a little bit extra, but I was fine with that. Um, very nice graphics card, 2 gigabytes. Runs super nice, not had any problems with it. So yeah, I have also got a Corsair TX650W power supply. Corsair, 5 year warranty, fantastic. Uh, so if that ever goes wrong, I can just send that straight back. Got a bag with it and everything. So on the operating system, I have got a 40 gigabyte V25 Intel SSD. Very nice uh, SSD. Runs very fast, especially fast for what I need it to. Uh, you can see how fast it runs. The system runs uh, if you watch my video on speed test. 500 gigabyte Seagate hard drive. Very nice hard drive. Does what it needs to do. Just store stuff. Uh, upgraded from a 250 gigabyte Seagate one back um, a couple of months ago, just before uh, hard drive prices shot up. Then I've got an OEM old Dell uh, DVD rewrite drive. But apart from that, there is my computer system. I'm really sorry, you know, and I know I'm going to get a lot of hatred for this, but you know the main case is not too bad, which is done on purpose. But uh, my Mac cable management could be better. Uh, I just to be, but to be honest, with a black in a black case, there's no windows to it. I didn't. I'm not really too fussed. It's not exactly you know lacking fans. I mean, it's got two there. It's got one there. It's got one on the graphics card. It's got one on the power supply. It's got one on the CPU. It's also got one on the front of the of the uh, case as well. Um. So it's not even if it's lacking cooling power. Uh, obviously it would run maybe a couple of degrees lower if I got rid of so much blockage there. But you know, for what it is, it it, it runs perfect. I mean, like, to be honest, I'm not going to be too anal about it. But uh, as I said, usually I've got a side on this thing anyway. So I never actually ever see it. So if I don't see it, what's the point in actually cable, tidy, cable tidying it? Um, and usually, you know, for cleaning purposes, it's not actually that brilliant to have it all like tidy. So, uh, well, maybe it, maybe it is, maybe it makes it a little bit easier. 
Uh, I'll have to have a crack at it one time, maybe in the summer holidays when I've got a bit more time, but at the moment I just don't have enough time. Um, so yeah, so there's my computer. Um, had this for about a year now. Considering upgrading to the new octa-cores that are out by AMD, but uh, 200 quid at the moment, so I have to wait for them to come down in price, but by then, who knows, I'll probably be on to 12 cores by then. Um, so I'll probably just leave this system as it is. Um, and then build a new system in a couple of years time um, or maybe four or five years time when I need to um, and then put this into retirement as a server because I mean this would make a fantastic server in a few years time remember to subscribe to this channel and uh, sign up to the forum and I hope to see you around soon Geek signing out